Hi, this is Dr. Clotus and I'm here to answer your questions. Um, one of the questions we received was, um, in a blog post you spoke about those with elevated inflammation levels had double the cardiovascular risk. How do I determine my inflammation level? Does it show up in my blood work report? Um, so inflammation is in fact a risk factor for many diseases from a heart um, from a heart disease perspective, um, inflammation is part of the components that drives atherosclerosis, the buildup of plaque in our arteries. It's actually, that's an inflammatory process in part. Um, and so reducing inflammation in our systems helps reduce the risk of cardiovascular events. Um, a good way to measure inflammation is actually not with a cholesterol profile, it's with something called C-reactive protein or CRP. Um, typically for heart disease we, we get even more specific and it's something called HSCRP or high sensitivity C-reactive protein so that measures very very small levels of inflammation. Um, and people with higher levels of, of HSCRP are at increased risk of these out of the blue events like heart attacks and strokes and that's probably because as they have more inflammation in their blood vessels their plaque is less stable meaning it, it can break down and cause these out of the blue events like heart attacks and strokes. Um, one of the issues with measuring inflammation in the blood, however, it's a very nonspecific marker. So you can have inflammation from anywhere cause C-reactive protein levels to go up or even HSCRP to go up. Um, so, you know, if you have a urinary tract infection or arthritis or you recently, you know, bumped an elbow or something, you can have an elevated C-reactive protein level that isn't necessarily indicative of cardiovascular risk, but it is something we can measure and it can be useful in, in certain circumstances. Okay, so how do you reduce inflammation? Well, the, the, the best way to, to do this is to avoid the things that cause inflammation. Some of this is easier than said than done. Um, stress increases inflammation, air pollution, smoking, um, inactivity, poor diet. Um, on the dietary end, what you really want to emphasize to lower inflammation in your body are antioxidants. These are free radical finding, fighting substances that, that decrease inflammation within our, within our systems. What's high in antioxidants? fruits and vegetables and plants of all sorts so it's back to beans and greens and nuts and seeds and fruits and vegetables and grains in their most whole and unprocessed forms. This is what supplies antioxidants. You do not get antioxidants from um, animal-based sources so meat, dairy don't supply any antioxidants. In fact they can be pro-inflammatory which is why it's so important to include as many plant-based eating um, um, plant-based foods as, as possible within your diet. Step 1 Foods was specifically formulated with high antioxidant containing um, ingredients to make sure that we're delivering a lot of antioxidants even in the two servings that you're eating a day. So one way to combat um, inflammation, and it's really easy to do, is to, is to um, get on the Step 1 plan.